Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to learn about effects and how to automate them inside of machine. So I have this kit which is called, let's see, it's called the Trip Trap Kit and I loaded that up and check it out. And this kit comes with two patterns, one and two, and I added the three and four. So I customized my own pattern and made some changes to the MIDI notes. So check it out. All right, so those are all my patterns and here are all my sounds. And if I want to add any effects on these sounds, so let's say I select this pad right here. And now I, on my machine, if I write, if I click on this right arrow on the right screen, I can navigate to where it says empty. And even on the software, you can see that this empty slot has been selected. So let's go ahead and hit browse on the machine and navigate to effects from these top two buttons on the left. And in our effects, you can see that we have all these different subcategories. So we can pick a reverb or even in the software you can see on the left, we can go through all these categories and there are all those presets that come with these categories. So in my reverb, I'm gonna uh, drag the acoustic or load it up, the acoustic drums. So go up and hit load. And you can see that on my snare, I now have the acoustic drum effect. So check it out. So here I have the size. So you have all these different options for the EQ and pan position and output. And you can even change the type. All right, so now if I hit my 14th pad, you can see that I have this effect called reflex on it, which comes default with the group. So if I hit on this down arrow, you can see all these options. So these are my third party plugins. And then there's this internal and internal are the plugins that come with machine. So even on your machine, if you hit browse, you can see that you have this reflex over here with all these options on the left. So if you hold shift on your machine, on the right side at the top, you can see an option to remove it. So remove that effect, go to browse and select a new effect. So let's see, we can either browse over here or on our software, we can click on this plus sign and then you can go to internal and then grab a meta verb. So now we have this meta verb and you can change the size But if I change the size while I'm playing the sound. All right, so we can now go to the plus sign over here and add another internal. Let's say we pick an EQ. I could bring down the low shelf a bit and increase the treble a little bit and make it nice and bright. Now, what if I want to change the size in time? So what we can do is come down here, make sure your sound is selected and your effect is selected. And then you want to come down here and click on this plus sign and select uh, on the modulator, right click, select your meta verb, main and click on size. And then let's click and drag this up so it gets bigger. And here on the left, you see the values right now we're at 50%. But if I change the knob or change the settings, you can see that the settings change over here too. So if I change that knob, you can see it's at 100% and then zero. And also if this menu isn't showing up, you can come down here on the left side and click on that eject icon, that white icon, and it'll show up. So let's change this to one over 64 or even one over 128. And then let's select our paintbrush tool over here in the middle. And now if you click and drag this around, 
you can start drawing a pattern, just like in any other DAW. So I'm going to draw this pattern on the size, make it go down, just uh, trying to show something random so you can see what it sounds like. So pretty cool. And even on your knob, you can see that little orange line that moves. So any knob that has an orange line moving means that there's an automation on it. So if I play it, you can see it. So similarly, you can go up to your modulator at the bottom, select your effect, go to the plus sign, right click, go to metaverb and add a different thing. So something like pan. And now here's the left side, right side, left side, right side. All right, so similarly, even on your software, if you go to group or on your machine, if you're not inside of the browse, if you exit browse, you can see there's sound group and master, select your group, and on your group, you can do the same thing. Select an empty slot, hit the plus sign, or just navigate through your effects and grab something like a phaser. So now we have this phaser that you can see on your group over here. All right, so you can always go down here again and add a modulator, right click, add your uh, whichever knob you want to change, draw in a pattern that you like, and you should be good to go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel, and definitely stay tuned for more. Peace.